Well, thousands of families are struggling not just to buy gifts for their kids for Christmas, but fighting to put food on the table. And our morning news reporter Grace Key is in Port Moody at the Share Food Bank this morning. Grace, uh, how are the food donations going so far this year? Well, you know, I think like many of the food banks across the nation, they're really seeing uh, an increase in the demand. And joining me this morning is Heather Scott with the Share Food Bank. Tell us about the numbers. Your food bank is very similar in what we're seeing across the nation here. Right. So I think, I think people, um, we'd like them to understand that since 2007, the number of people coming to the food bank has increased by 51%. Mm -hmm. So that's an enormous increase in just three years. And so the challenge now is to make sure that um, we have enough food at any given time um, to, um, to provide for families. Yeah. So what we're seeing in front of us right now is certainly not normal. This is more of the Christmas hamper. And you've actually had to cut back a little bit in this. Tell us about that. Just a little bit, yes. Well, so we don't have enough food for Christmas hampers mm -hmm. this year. And so um, the, this, what you see in front of you is a hamper for a family that's uh, of four people. Four people it's yeah. meant for Christmas Day and it's meant to last three weeks as opposed to the normal two weeks. Now, what you see in front of you is 40 items, and last year there would have been 44. The, um, we try to make sure that the hampers that are providing for families and children mm -hmm. are more plentiful. Um, and so where we've really had to cut back, unfortunately, very unfortunately, is families of, of a single one person. Mm -hmm. And so that might be somebody who is senior or somebody who um, might have a disability. Mm -hmm. They, unfortunately, this year, will only get 18 items in their hamper to last for three weeks. Yeah. And this is something that you guys uh, haven't had to do before. Haven't had to do before. Yeah. Not in my recent memory, certainly. We've never had to cut back on Christmas hampers. However, today, if people, we are packing the hampers tonight. Yeah. So if we get a number of people coming in today with food, we will sort it tonight and get it into the hampers and we'll try and make them yeah. more plentiful. And just so people know, I mean, you said this was supposed to last three weeks for a family of four. I mean, I mean, if you got teenagers to feed, though, this is not going to last three weeks. This is really a supplement for them. Well, exactly. This isn't meant to feed a family right. at all. This, I mean, I, I think if most people look at this, they'll see, you know, a few cans of soup. I mean, think of how quickly a, a a couple, a, couple of teenagers, teenagers even. a couple of teenagers in your house, this, how quickly yeah. they'll go through this food, for sure. Yeah. It's really meant to see if they can uh, provide one solid yeah. day of relief, yeah. Christmas Day for families. And real quick, you also said that you're having an event later on today. CKNW is coming out to Save on Foods at Coquitlam on Pine Tree from 3 till 7. I think Steve will be joining us, so <laughs> people are invited to come on down and give a donation then. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. thanks a lot. Steve, you heard that. So you're going to be joining them. You're already committed. Back to you. That's right. Yeah. Okay. We'll be out there then for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely be there. That's, uh, it is important. So yeah, get out there. We, we did this last year and it was a big uh, success. Yeah. So we're hoping for more people to show up this afternoon from three until seven. Again, it's the Save on Foods on Pine Tree in Coquitlam.